All right, multiplication and division. When you want to round off a number correctly, one rule applies to addition and subtraction, and a different rule applies to multiplication and division. What you're seeing here is essentially the entire thing in a nutshell for multiplication and division. This should be fairly short to go over. The idea here is that with multiplication and division, you count the number of significant figures, like here in this example, you're like, you realize, okay, three significant figures, two significant figures, and your raw calculator output is this one with four. So what's being said here is that you're gonna take this raw calculator number and round it with the idea that just as a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, the final number is only as good as the numbers that went into calculating, and if this one is only the two significant figures, then the final answer should only be two significant figures. So that is why three sig figs, two sig figs, this one has fewer significant figures, and since it has the fewest, it determines how to round the final answer. So because two sig figs here, two sig figs there. Um, the other examples here are the same. You saw the answer to this one just a second ago. Uh, reason why, one, two, three, four, five significant figures. And this is only two significant figures. Between the two of these, this is fewer sig figs, so the answer can't have more than two significant figures. You need to round this to have two significant figures, and that's what this is right here, because that means you round right here, and that nine is next to a six, so that makes the nine go up and turn into a zero, so 4.9 rounds up to 5.0. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven significant figures, four sig figs, so your final rounded answer should have four significant figures, which would be one, two, three, four of these numbers. That seven is next to a zero, so it stays a seven. 457.7. Here, one, two, three, four, five sig figs. One, two, three, four significant figures. So that is why between these two, this is fewer sig figs, so one, two, three, four significant figures. Your rounding is gonna occur. It should only include these numbers. And since that 9 is next to a 5, it rounds up. So 1619 rounds up to 1620. And just to clarify that, 1620.000. Well, actually, no, just there you go. That would be the rounded number. There shouldn't be any decimal or anything after that. And then uh, put that there to help show what it looks like. That's four significant figures. So that means convert to scientific notation one, two, three, four, five times. You have to move the decimal five times. And four sig figs means one, two, three, four significant figures are included in the scientific notation. That's why it looks like that. And then, um, yeah, it's just because the number greater than 1,000 has to be in scientific notation. So that should take care of that for that particular one. And then finally, for this last number here, when we count significant figures, ignore this. So this is one, two, three, four, five significant figures. This is one, two, three significant figures. So the final answer has to have three significant figures. It's one, two, three sig figs. So the final rounded answer becomes three, zero, seven, because the six is next to five, turns into seven. And then after that, it's all just zeros. And being that that number is way bigger than 1,000, you've got to convert to scientific notation. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You've got to move the decimal nine times. So you are going to get that number. That's because you've got to move the decimal nine times. And when you put it here, that's 3.07. Three sig figs means you've got to have three sig figs in your final answer. All right, so that about covers all the different things you can do with the multiplication division. It's merely a matter of counting significant figures, and once you do that, you've got what you need to get.